In part two of our lesson, we once again have a circle graph, but this time it's a little different. Instead of having angles or measurements or percentages, we have numbers. So these, these numbers could represent maybe an activity or something that somebody likes to do if we were to give them a survey. Now one thing to keep in mind is that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So we're gonna use that in a multiplication problem. But before we start doing our multiplication, we need to add up all these numbers to see how many people were surveyed. So I'm gonna take 22 and I wanna add it to all of the other numbers. So we'll put a 12 below, six, and an eight. If we go through and do our addition, we end up with a total of 48. So now I'm gonna use this 48 in every other problem that I do to find out the angle measurement of each slice of pie. Now hopefully this will make a little bit more sense. What I want to do is take each one of our pieces of pi here and turn them into a fraction. The number that is represented in the piece will be our numerator, and our denominator will be 48 because that was the total number of people surveyed. So let's start with 22. I'm going to set it up this way. 22 is going to be over 48. We can move over to 12 now. 12 over 48. Let's go to the other side. Got 22 done. Got 12 done. Let's do 6. 6 over 48. And last but not least, 8 over 48. Now this is where the 360 degrees is going to come into effect. Because remember, I want to find the measurement of each one of these pieces and we measure in degrees. So what I'm going to do is take 360 degrees and multiply it by each one of these fractions. Remember, if we have a single number that we're trying to multiply by a fraction, we just put a one underneath it. So it's gonna look like this. Times 360 degrees. And we can put it over one. Times 360 degrees. Put it over one. Do the same thing on our other side. Times 360 degrees over one. 360 degrees over one. Now we all want to find our answer, and there's actually two things we're going to have to do. We're going to multiply our top numbers, and then we're going to multiply our bottom numbers, which we always know are going to be. 48. The reason why it's going to be 48 in this case is because it's 48 times 1, and that doesn't affect the 48. So after we do our multiplication, we're actually going to have a larger numerator on top of our denominator 48, which means we'll just end up doing a little bit of division. So let's do this one first. 22 over 48 times 360 degrees over 1. It ends up becoming 7,920 over 48. Last step in this problem is to take 7,920 divided by 48. If I do that, I get an answer of 165 degrees because I did the division. I divided the top by the bottom. So that means this piece where 22 people said they wanted to do this activity, the angle measurement is 165 degrees. 165 degrees. Now we can do another one. It's going to end up being 12 times 360, 48 times 1. So if I take 12, multiply it by 360, I end up now with 4,320. 48 times 1 is 1. Excuse me, it's 48. So now what I have to do is take 4,320, divide it by 48. When I do that, I end up with an answer of 90. 90 degrees. So we go back 12. That means this measurement here, this angle is measured at 90 degrees. And then we continue on with our 6 and 8 doing the same thing. We just have to multiply 360 times 6. We'll get our answer divided by 48. 360 times 8, get an answer divided by 48. And that will give us the remaining two angle measurements.